welcome to our house tour. Come on in, come on in. Welcome to the crib. Thank you. Shut the door behind you for a second. So this is our house tour, which obviously starts in the hallway, but just so that Charlie can finish with the camera, I'm gonna take you into the kitchen first. So just from here, we have our gorgeous kitchen. Apologies if it's a little bit echoey at the moment, it's because we've got nothing in the house, as you can imagine. But we decided to go for stone coloured um, cupboards. Our countertop is oak, coal, what did you say, coal more oak. And then at the moment we don't actually have any flooring in, um, but we are going to get our flooring fitted in about two weeks time I think. And we are so happy with this kitchen, it's genuinely our favourite room in the house. I think once the flooring's in it, we really cosy. Like up here, we've got so much cupboard space everywhere. All of these upper cupboards have got like loads of sections. Um, so we're really happy with that. We also have integrated appliances. So we've got our dishwasher just here, which I absolutely love because as you pull it open, it just opens with it and it's disguised as a cupboard. I think it just makes everything look so much more neat. Let me show you this side as well. So here we've got our double oven, which is really nice. I feel like it's just an extra touch and it makes things look a little bit more classy, a little bit more expensive. And I like that it's kind of levitating. I don't know why, but I just really, really like that. I'm so happy with this. And then over here, we have our fridge and also our freezer, which again, because they're integrated, it will open as you open the door. But we're so excited to like fill all of this. I like to feel the size and get some proper fridge storage in here too and it will be amazing to fill up a fridge. Um, I'm going to take the camera off Charlie now and I'll take you around the rest of the house so that she can sit back and relax. Okay, so I am manning the camera now and as you come out of the kitchen, we have this little hole under the stairs, which at first we thought was a little bit inconvenient, but now we're thinking that if we ever get a dog, that is the perfect little dog bed space. So maybe not as inconvenient as we thought and as you come round the hallway it kind of looks like this i love how open it is and it really makes the house feel much bigger just because it's quite long and open so we'll come down here and just to my right we've got our under the stairs cupboard we added in this plug socket here because we thought this would be a really good space if we ever need like a chargeable hoover or a big like extra freezer or something like that it goes around a little bit not as much space as what we have now but still enough to have a little bit of extra storage which is great then over here we have our downstairs toilet i just flick well i don't think i need to flick the light on there's not really much to show you this room is massive we think it's so it's big enough that if you have a wheelchair you can kind of fit it in but maybe along this wall here because we don't need the extra space it would be good to get some sort of storage for coats shoes all that sort of stuff at the moment it just looks very big very prisony i think um so by the time we get in and we do some painting and things like that and make it our own it should look a little bit more cozy i also really love that all of the doors are like this i think they are really really beautiful i love the design of them and as we come around here we go into our living room we're really really happy with our carpet choice i can't remember kind of the exact color that we picked but i think i know one of them was rice i don't know about the other one but this carpet is a little bit different to the rest of the house because we wanted it to be a little bit more expensive so it was softer but here's our living room our plans really are along this wall to have our tv potentially get some sort of media wall hence why we've added in this extra plug socket here so that if we ever end up having a tv in the middle it can just dangle down there which is really useful we then come round i really like that they've added this little bit here as wood rather than white because that matches our theme for this house perfectly as you can see we've also had our bins delivered and someone very kindly put them in the back garden for us i won't go out into the garden because it is a little bit of a wet day but here is the garden it is on a little bit of a slope which is kind of annoying but it's so big and we didn't really expect it to be that big so kind of as it comes round we've got a whole of a section just down there i think you can only just about see it where we're going to be able to put our shed so that we can enjoy all of this and just have it all as nice big space to do whatever we want in 
We then obviously got the other side of the living room as well. This is where our sofa is going to go. We've got our sofa coming on Saturday actually, so only two days from now. And then over here, we have this little alcove, which at first we were like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do with that? But now we think that this would be a really good space for like bookshelves, potentially a little desk at the bottom and then shelves above the desk, just because we've got that plug socket there as well. So that if you do want to have a desk there and like plug in a computer or whatever, you've kind of got the option to. So it's quite a deep alcove, which is why we were thinking desk, because if you had like a table come out the whole length of this, it would be quite lengthy. And then bookshelves above it could look really nice and just add to a nice little cozy vibe. I just can't wait to decorate this at Christmas. It's so mad that this is ours. I'm now gonna take you upstairs. This flooring in the hallway also isn't set at the moment. It's just concrete, purely because we didn't want flooring from our developer in our hallway, kitchen or under stairs cupboard because we've bought that from somebody else just because we preferred their designs. So let me take you upstairs and show you what's in front of me now. So as you get to the top of the stairs, we're a little bit corridor-y. Um, we've got a little section here. Maybe we could put something there if we really wanted to. But you first come into the front bedroom. I don't really want to show you out the window, so I'm going to show you this in a bit of a, a weird angle. But this is kind of the back where our bed's going to be. This will be myself and Charlie's room because it's the biggest one. Obviously got plug sockets either side for bedside tables. And then as we turn around... We've got space on the other end for wardrobes, TV stand, anything like that. Again, this little alcove here is really, really deep, much deeper than what we have at the moment. And I also don't know if it's like long enough this way to fit our current wardrobes in. But Charlie reckons that with time, it might be quite a nice idea to get some kind of wardrobe fitted that goes from that little corner here at the top of the door all the way across. And then this here could be a little section that you walk into. It'll we'll just have really deep storage in. So that's also something to consider. It depends how well our current furniture fits and what we decide to do. But as we move out of here, this is the upstairs corridor. It looks completely different with all of the doors open. When we first looked at it, the doors were closed and it felt really small. But now the doors are open, it feels a little bit bigger. I mean, it would help if I turned the lights on. I've got them all off at the moment because you know the drill, um, but I'll take you through and show you what we've got. So here is our first upstairs cupboard. I really don't know what our plans are for these, but as you can see, it's not huge, but it does go all the way up to the top. So if you were to put shelves or some sort of cabinet in here, you could really maximize the space. So I'm sure we'll think of something to put in there that will be really useful. You then come round to let's call this one the second bedroom, although the second and the third are exactly the same size. Do excuse me by the way, I am completely breathless filming this, which is slightly embarrassing. But anyway, as you come in, this is kind of the room. So I imagine that one of these will be a spare room for us and we can put a spare bed along there, hopefully if it fits, if not along the back wall, we obviously look out onto the garden as well. But then just behind me over here, bear with me, we have another cupboard, which is just amazing because this could also double up as wardrobe space if we ever wanted it in the future for little children or, you know, anything like that, or even myself and Charlie as well. So that could also double up as another wardrobe because we do currently have two. So that could be useful. As I said, the third bedroom is exactly the same size as the second one, except it doesn't have the additional cupboard. Although when I come in here, I feel like it does look bigger. I don't know why, but they are supposed to be exactly the same size. So there's not really too much for me to show you there. It is just a full blank white walls and some carpet. Um, but then last but not least, we have our, I was about to say kitchen. No, this is our bathroom. And again, I can't remember the exact name of the tiles that we picked in the bathroom. So if you are interested, then comment down below and I'll see if I can find that for you. But we have a shower over the bath. This was really important for us because we both enjoy having baths, but I am much more of a shower person day to day. So we definitely needed both. Our shower, what do you call this? Shower screen, it extends. So it folds in half when you don't want it. And then when you do want it, you can fold it out. And then like I say, these are our tiles. 
which I am so happy with because they just remind me of the beach. I feel like they look like the inside or the outside of a seashell. So I'm really happy with those. We decided to follow the tiles all the way around. So you could have them going all the way up to the ceiling, but we want to put a mirror above here. So we only had it halfway going around the rest of the bathroom. Not sure why that's gone so blurry. Bear with me, do you want to focus? We get in there, we get in there, and we're there, lovely. So we obviously have our sink, our toilet, and then something that we paid extra for was this towel rail. Charlie really wanted this, and it would be really nice just to get out of the shower, put on a nice warm towel, and it also saves you hanging your towels over like the banister or, you know, ruining the back of the door because they're getting their wet moisture all over it. So it's nice to have somewhere where we can actually dry our towels. And that is actually the end of our empty house tour. I appreciate there's not really much for you guys to see because it is empty. It's literally just walls, flooring, all that jazz. But it's nice to get an idea of what rooms are here, especially if you were looking at buying a similar property yourself. Let me find somewhere to put you down and we can carry on chatting. I've just balanced you in the kitchen because there's no other surface at the moment for me to actually film on. But I do really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Welcome to our new home. I won't actually be filming a, like a fully furnished, finished house tour just because I feel like it's important not to, one, for safety reasons and two, just to have a little bit of privacy. I'll obviously be showing little bits as we go through, like when the new sofa gets delivered and things like that. But a fully furnished house tour is not going to be coming just in case anyone wanted to skip ahead and get excited for that it would just be an empty one because at the moment it's empty and um, so i hope you can understand and appreciate that but yeah thank you so much for watching i am so excited to start this new adventure i can't believe it's actually ours it's slowly starting to sink in we've come here straight from work so i'm still kind of in work mode a little bit but this weekend we're going to be moving in and there will be a moving vlog to come we pick up our van on saturday morning so two days from now and the whole weekend is going to be dedicated to moving furniture building furniture unpacking all that jazz so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can stick around and see all of that and other than that i'm going to bring this to a close so thank you very much for watching and joining me on this journey if you've enjoyed then please don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below make sure you stick around to see all of the adventures to come and other than that i look forward to seeing you all very soon in the next one goodbye